Sup Nibbles D Balls here, and this is going to be another debate that I have um, in regards to part one Naruto. I decided that I wanted to start getting to debating um, topics in part one, and then I'm eventually go over to part two because I just want to have more stuff to talk about besides like just Dragon Ball. So yeah, this is like my first actual series debate, debating part one, and it was really fun. Uh, kudos to the dude I debated, and thank you to the judge Dead Boy for you know his judging. Also, I forgot to note this. <laughs> so um, half of the debate, y'all didn't actually get to hear because I had to leave to go handle some stuff. But basically, um, we were arguing the legitimacy of Naruto kicking Gara. I was arguing that Gara was basically um, snuck and he was arguing that Naruto was able to perceive Gara to the point where he could actually tag him in the way he did. Um, so yeah, just wanted to clarify that just in case y'all was confused or anything. That's where we were before I had left and then I'm coming back and we basically chalked up that topic and then went forward from there. So fucking wax his shit. He doesn't care. Mm, no, that is, that it's not that he doesn't check around, said he gets caught by shadow possession. No, I'm aware, but we know Gara could still use his sand because literally right after that, he, we see his sand emerge outwards. So it's not like he couldn't have used his sand to react. That's the point I made. What did we see though? Okay. I got you. What chapter is that? Um, wait, let me go back. I got you. I think it's is it 97. It's 97. What is that? It's chapter 97 on the show. Seven. And like, here's him using his sand. Maybe he was talking to him in part two. I don't think I know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's probably when he's learning about sand sure again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I get it though. And he's like, I don't even say, oh, Chidori's cool. It's not fair. I got, I got to figure out what chapter. Take you know what chapter it is. If you just give me the chapter. When he trains. trains for Rosh and Shuriken, then I could be like, uh, what time is the rooftop scene? He trains like from, like 300. yeah, like 3, 315. Like when he starts training, I think. It might be like 330. Um, no, no, no. His, his Ross and the Shuriken training just spans the boss a bunch of chapters because that also covers like the entire awesome up there. Yeah, yeah. So like it would be like three twenty three and three twenty seven. That's the awesome fight with Hidon. Three twenty seven and three twenty eight is when like it ends his training. Three twenty three. I'm I'm gonna look through the rooftop. Too. Nigga, this nigga Hidon comfortably scales above Kakuzu now. I just ask you look at him like that. <laughs> this this isn't a scam from my argument. I just wanted to show this. <laughs> he starts he starts to talk uh three fifteen when he's talking to Kakashi about like uh Kakashi telling him about like the shadow clones. No, I'm talking about this like when he's talking about the Chidori though. It'll be early so yeah, the anime clip, right? I sent it. It was in part one, the anime clip. When he says he wants to know about the Chidori? The what? When he says like, he wants to learn about the Chidori? Yeah, he says, Kakashi, teach me the Chidori. Mm, I have the one where he asks them, um, no, you can get your, like, what is it? Naruto and the others will develop their own strong point and grow rapidly. Logic, what does that have to do with anything we're talking about right because now? Because we wanted the Chidori one. That's what Kakashi told them. Where? I didn't post that. Fuck, Logic. If you got it, you didn't post it. Right? No, no, I'm not going to post it. Fuck you, dead boy. That's not helping. Never mind. It's helping Piana, not me. No, because you want to be a bitch. No, I mean, whatever. I found myself. Y'all want some bleach scams? I got bleach scams. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. That'd be tight. What'd you say that, that, uh, that he said? Hmm? Yeah, it's, def it's definitely around what he's talking about, though. I know, I know what Logic's talking about. I mean, it can't exist, man. Dude, well, we have one right there. Like, do we accept the anime, though? Uh, we could talk about it. That's cool. Just, like, save time. Okay. I'm like not gonna be able to find this. Okay, so you want me to go? Right. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's my like. That's my whole time. Okay, so in regards to that clip, it doesn't really seem like Naruto cares that. Like he just wants to get stronger. He just cares about a move that's gonna help him get stronger. It doesn't seem like it's in like. He don't seem that ecstatic about it, or at least the scene doesn't show it that well. He just like 
Yo, show me that move. And Kashi's like, well, try this. He literally <laughs> said they're trying to learn it right there. Yeah, he's just, it's a new, anyone who want to learn a new move. Like, okay, I want to learn something to help me fuck people up more. Like, it doesn't show that he's, like, specifically, like, oh, shit. He's literally telling them, like, Kakashi says it's not that easy. It's like, what? No, still teach you. Like, he, like, he just keeps asking Kakashi, even though Kakashi says it's not going to be easy. Because wasn't your original statement on the lines of, like, um, correct me if I'm wrong, of course, that uh, he was jealous of, like, Chidori itself? Like, he's jealous that Sasuke has it? Yeah, like, he's always, yeah, he has, like, a, always been, like, wanting to, like, learn this move. I think this goes along with it that he's, but... Because like the way like I'm looking at it is just he was interested like in the move, and it's not so much he's like jealous that Sasuke learned it, just that like well, in that situation like, he comes off a bit differently to me. If this is like a move that he does deem like he wants, and then Sasuke, the Sasuke has something he wants, I, I would think that would like stem jealousy. I would say there can also be an argument made to say that he's also just mad at the fact that Sasuke is doing better at fighting Gara than he ever could imagine. Yeah, before. well, then that's what I'm saying. Well, then what leads to like it just being like Sasuke is just like just his performance. Because I brought like more to say that like it's it's his Chidori because this is something that Naruto does want. He does okay, want Chidori. Agree with that. That is, like the I'll reason enough for it to be jealousy. Okay, I'll agree with that. Okay, so then what else do we have? We have okay. Um, I can Neji. talk more about like where I believe like Sasuke's scales above Neji. Is that cool? Yeah, you can go ahead and tell your scale. Okay, so um, we have, like, Neji scale into Fifth Gates Lee if you use some of the, like, you can argue with it, but you can, like, scale him to that, and you can also scale him to QB Naruto. And then we have Sasuke being stated to be, like, above Lee, right, as um, listed as, like, Gara's strongest opponent. If you need that scan, just ask. And then, yeah, I think, um, I think that that statement is referring to Chidori. I know what you're yeah, talking it, about. It could also be referring to Chidori, but it says, like, strongest opponent. And then after that, right, to further back up the point that it's more of, like, a general thing, in conjunction with Chidori being like a natural weakness to um Sam, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah, that's yeah. what that's what my like my argument is. It's like because Chidori is like a natural weakness to Sam. It's really that's why he would be the strongest. Yeah, that's why he would be that's why he would be deemed the strongest opponent. But yeah, but then because we have like Sasuke. like a natural weakness to all of his abilities. Mm -hmm. And then we have like Sasuke reacting to Gara, who's more bloodlusted than before. So he's going a bit. He's going harder than he was with Lee. Of like you know just you can notice the difference and also he's going deeper into his tail beast form which obviously would amp him in power and even no, he doesn't add, he doesn't use he only uses his tail beast mode at the end of the fight him he going to like that, that semi form i'm talking about later on not um during the tuning exams like uh, after that point when like um he's like in that semi uh transformative state yeah you know but i don't think there's any reason for like yeah i don't think there's any reason for like these to scale above like lee because if he already scales above Lee generally and Gar notes him as the opponent, like Gar states this multiple times, ignoring like the data books, even um, there's like a panel where he states, I want my strong, like you're my strongest opponent. I want to beat you. I want to actually yeah. defeat you. And then we have him reacting. You about uh, when he's in the transform state? Yeah, while he was there. I can send it to you. Yeah, because he uses Shidori. Yeah, too. Yeah, it's part of his AP. I'm saying in terms of just speed, though. In terms of speed, yeah. Well, yeah. What state? What do these statements lead to it being like his overall sense? Because, like, I think it's only like the strong, like Shasuke being his strongest opponent, and things of a like would be referring to like his elemental advantage, like Chidori. Yeah, his elemental you know, like, advantage and ability yeah. to basically blitz Gara. Yeah, but yeah, why is it referring to that ability? Because he, he actually could have Sasuke think, react to a stronger version of Gara after the um actual match. Well, why is it have. above the? Why is it above Lee? Cause, you know, because Gara he's more excited to actually Lee. deal with Sasuke than Lee. It wouldn't make sense if it was just a Chidori if he was any slower, because how would he but effectively Lee, use it? A guard doesn't scale to Lee, so you saying, well, it's like above the guard that fought Lee. That, that, I mean, that wouldn't, like, debunk, or that wouldn't, like, downscale Lee. No, the only Gara reason I'm saying he's above, like, Neji, for example, and then also Lee, is because, Nar like, my statement were all around Naruto being jealous of Sasuke, and then that leading to the fact of Naruto saying he cannot defeat Gara. The same yeah, Naruto who fought Neji, so he feels Gara is above Neji. Didn't we just drop that point? We dropped it. Yeah, we like just moved on past like the Naruto statement and like left it to. No, I'm just saying that's my logic behind it. Just to explain. Okay. Myself. Oh well. Then, okay. Well, since I don't think that like that Naruto point got along, does that like not just like make your whole scale or like make that part of the argument fall apart? Oh, uh, we can go, well. What's another point we could talk about then? Um, I mean, I don't really have much. I was gonna say he shuts down like a his chakra points or just attack his heart directly. 
which we already like agreed to like if they're like at the very least relative Nedji would be able to do so do you have anything that puts on like that blitz level above Nedji a blitz level above the only thing i could think of is just him dealing with a strong like the semi-transformed gara who stated to like be faster than his previous self but then i guess the argument could be made that he doesn't scale to like rock lee but then um, like the strongest statement that um is made in the data books it doesn't specifically like target out the um chidori it lists it as the strongest which well, can be uh, general if it's referring to his general ap then i think it's like it's a contradiction or like it provides a contradiction because he's literally like blitzing because lee even states uh He's he's matching my speed and etc. Yeah, and weightless. No, he says a comment way. just generally. He doesn't say um. Yeah, I, yeah, my I, guy I, says weightless. I think. Yeah, yeah guy I says weightless and weight like his average level. We just said it. He, it took me years to achieve that level of speed. You know, he he wouldn't be referring to to gates. I don't think like I don't think there's any reason for him to be referring to gates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what's another point then in regards to him going against Neji that would be like effective? So we're saying that they're relative speeds one another. No, I think Neji is a blitz level above, but if he isn't in if, in if they are relative, like if like you do like win one of my point my my speed points and they're just relative, I think Neji will still win. Oh, okay. but I think you, I did you read, like did you already explain why you feel Neji's faster? Um, Naruto gets perception blitz by Neji. He can react to Gar. Or he could perceive Gara's attacks. Okay. And I already spoke on that, so there's no need like to go back over it. And you feel that makes him faster? Wasn't that same but the same Sasuke could react to that? Why would that make him a uh, higher? That's what I'm asking. Okay, basically, if like let's say like Naruto's like he's like the in between like, he's like in the in between for this. Mm -hmm. If he can see this thing moving, but he can't see this thing moving because it's too fast. And the other thing that's too fast would be like too fast for like for his eyes to perceive, right? Mm -hmm. So since I think it's too fast for his eyes to perceive, it would be faster than the thing that his eyes can perceive. Could you make the case when he was going against Neji? It was just more if he lacked the actual martial arts ability to deal with him. Uh, well, I I guess you could try to make that, but I asked you earlier. Do you agree that Naruto, that that Neji could like or was blitzing a base Naruto? You agree with me? Oh yeah. Okay. You're right. My fault. Just accent. Awesome. Okay, so um, what other points can we make? Okay, so I guess we could go to conclusions, right? Because I'm about to mm -hmm. say it basically be a conclusion. Because I was just about to speak on how I feel Sasuke can go about the fighting wing. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, Wait, so, hold, on, hold on. Before you do that, do you believe that Sasuke is going to use Shidori? Or not Shidori, um, first part? No, I don't feel that doesn't make any sense to me. Because um, in part one, he fucking collapses to the ground when he uses Curse Mark, doesn't he? He can't use it. Yeah. And, and he gets fight. it. I'll just make it sure. <laughs> he, he get fucking bodied the moment the curse mark comes into play. Okay. So if you cool with going to conclusions, I'm down for that. Mm -hmm. okay. You can start. You start? start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, so my conclusion is that Sasuke, even while scaling relative to Neji, has the Sharingan, which allows him to react. Uh, I should have showed this when I originally was talking about Sasuke, and I apologize for that. But Sasuke, even without the Sharingan, was able to react to a semi-transformed Gara, And then with the Sharingan, he's consistently reacting to Gara. And the only issue is just that he's using... Jidori uses too much chakra, and he fucking gets pushed like Chris Mark and collapses. So that allows... I feel like that would allow him to react to Neji's attacks and avoid getting, like, hit in any of his chakra points. And then the moment, like, the Chidori is put into play, it's a GG for Neji. He gets fucking just punted. And, yeah, that's it. All right, well, I guess I'll conclude, but I'm just gonna, like, since, like, you didn't argue that before, I'll try to, like, make my deep, like, my argument against it, like, in my conclusion. Okay. If that's, okay. But, um, that's cool, man. I guess I'll, like, start with that, and then, um, well, to counter that, I think, uh, it's, like, literally stated, it's, it's because the fact that, like, Gar is getting faster and faster, which is stated by Sasuke, it's, um, like, it's because he's getting faster and faster. He states whenever he first opens up Sharingan that without it, he would be dead. So it's, it's due to the fact that it's, um, Gar is getting faster. And with Sasuke, or Naruto's speed feed against that faster Gar would still stand. Right? That just means, that, like, well, one, we have no reason that chakra consumption even makes you slower, so that I don't think that point would do much. So, and, like, A, even even if he gets faster, Naruto still, like, reacts to it, or speedless is that same Gar. Even if he doesn't speedless, he reacts to it. 
So then there's that. I don't think like many of my speed points were debunked. I think he should be like a blitz level because I don't think it was like heavily contested at all. And then you're just like blitz, and we agreed that like if Neji was like massively faster, he wouldn't be able to just shut him down with chakra points. Or I don't think there's any point made against it that would like deny him shutting down Sasuke's chakra points if he was massively faster. Than him. So you would either a shut down all his chakra points or just take out his heart instantly. Either way, it would be a win because shaking down his chakra points would leave Sasuke incapacitated. Can I explain why I brought up the chakra point? Well, um, like the curse mark coming to play. I didn't bring it up to say like he got slower from that. I'm just saying that incapacitated him, which basically made him like open game for guard. That's why I brought it up. No, that yeah. Was a, yeah, that's fine. All right, I both done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I would say. Oh, well, D D Bo's he debated good. It's like he was like press pianos like on certain points. Thank you. And like, um, the speed point is like very contentious. Like I don't know, they give it a speed point too. But what I would say is, pianists like stated many times, even if they were even relative, which I like do believe y'all scale them more like towards to be relative, since like consistency is a big thing for like um D balls as he said. So if you're going to follow by consistency, I think y'all scale each other relative, right? But like a big point of like what like pianists kept bringing up, which D balls didn't even try to contend, was that even if they're relative, that means they would swap hands. Which that would be like what Neji would like would like want to do. It's like if they were to swap hands, he would still shut his chakra points down, and therefore he would just win. Bail like based off of like him like swapping hands. Like I don't even think like a um like if if, if you would have won the speed point, um you would have won the, like the debate. But like since I think it was contentious mm -hmm. and shit like that, and since you're like a relative, then I just based like off like the durability negation of like the gentle fist. Um, I think Pianist would have won off that, and I think Pianist won like the point of like. Um, like they're like in the hospital, like the, like um, like the guard, like wanting to kill Lee shit. I think like, his interpretation was like more valid because he'd be like he'd be more concerned about like why he can't move than like anything else. But yeah, it was good. It was it was still a good good debate. Like if you just would have pressed the spree point more D balls, you probably would have won. Sup, Nibbas? We're back. That is the end of the debate. Basically, after the recording ended, me and Dead Boy just talked about ways I could have improved in the debate. He gave us some really awesome tips. Um, he was a really awesome judge. I have no complaints about his judging whatsoever. I'm fine with the um with the loss because personally going forward, this is something that's only going to help me, not make me worse. So, you know, I hope you guys learn from me and understand that it's completely fine to lose. You know, I gave it my best. Y'all can obviously see in the vid the dead boy gave me my props. And even the dude I um, debated gave me my props. And it was a really fun debate overall. And that's what really matters, having fun. It's not about just getting wins. And this is going to be, like, really cool to look back on when in the future I'm doing a lot better than where I'm doing right now. So that's how you have to really, like, take stuff like this. Because I know a lot of people take losses really heavily. And I just wanted to say that for anyone that maybe is new to debating or has taken a loss in debating. It's cool, bro. Use that as a stepping stool to your overall growth. Not something that, you know, basically makes you think that you can't grow or you're, you're just like you suck or something. And in terms of like the server, the server was really cool, chill. I didn't experience any toxicity within it. So no complaints there. And before I head out, I just want to shout out the homie I debated YouTube page. He posts Naruto content, of course, specifically debating. So if you like that type of stuff, please check him out. Tell him that D-Ball sent you. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.